Hello, my beautiful Geminis. This is going to be your monthly readings for your love, wealth, and health. And this is for the month of September. So guys, thank you so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to all my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you want me to continue to do this this way, you want me to continue this reading for your monthlies as well as your mid-monthlies, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. So what is going on with my Gemini's romantic love life? Give me nine cards for my Gemini's romantic love life. Give me nine cards for my Gemini's career and finance for the month of September. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Also, Gemini, um, personal readings for me are closed until October 1st. However, I do have a new free reading contest. All the details are at the end of this video. And the Eye of Zen is finally back up on Amazon.com and the information is in the description box below. So let's jump right in here. We're gonna first pull nine cards, okay, for your romantic love life. And then I'm gonna pull two cards for your love interest feelings. And then we're gonna move into your career and finance. So stick with me till the end. Let's jump right in. You can feel free also to cross watch Gemini. You can check your moon, your rising, and your sun sign for more information. Okay. And let's also clarify with the Lenormand too as well. Gemini's romantic love life. Give me nine cards for Gemini's romantic love life. Give me nine cards for Gemini's career and finance. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. So let's look at the first half of the month. So this is going to be the first half, the second half, and the last half of the month. So obviously this half of the month is coming up very soon. Oh my goodness. Great cards, Jesus. And we see the sign that we're looking at, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy with that page of swords energy being there. Um, also, let's also get, this is definitely gonna make you happy. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you guys are definitely, uh, things are moving in your favor. The universe is on your side. You're gonna gain a whole new perspective coming up here which is going to shed light to your situation, okay? That's what I feel like. Yeah, you guys are definitely going to tune in here about making this choice. You're going to feel really comfortable around this choice that you're going to have to make. All right, so we see Gemini's love interest. Whoever they're here for, whoever they want to know about, give me two cards for their love interest feelings for them and one card of advice for their romantic love life. Thank you. Show me cards I need to see. I need to see. Okay, so we got two cards here, Gemini. All right. So we see that the universe is moving in your favor. There's good timing for you guys. And it's really going to make you happy because you're going to gain a whole new perspective of things. And let's see what's going on here. There is a lot of emotions at play. The fish card energy is coming out here. And there's this healing energy because of it. And then we see it's going to bring some movement and change in your romantic love life. Some of you may be dealing with somebody in a long distance relationship with the ship card energy. Some of you uh, are dealing with some kind of travel here uh, or this person's going to travel towards you and give you a whole new perspective, new ideas of this. Things are going to change for you in a positive direction. The universe is aligning in your favor here. There is a lot of emotions at play. There's going to be healing of these emotions. And finally, there's going to be movement around this. So let's see. Let's see what's going on here. How does your love interest feel about you? Your love interest feels lonely. They feel isolated. They feel separated. Wow. I don't know why I feel so emotional about this, Gemini, but that's, that was uh, very touching. They're trying to be very hopeful about this connection. They want a positive outcome with you with this connection. Okay? So this person's wishing and hoping for you. Okay? This person, since this is a spiritual card for me, it's like the star card energy. I feel like this person um, definitely feels like there could be a spiritual connection. This is like the hermit card energy. This is like the star card energy. This person feels like there's a deeper connection with you. Okay? And then we see, what's your advice? Your advice, Spirit, said you've gained a lot of wisdom from your past experiences with love. And they, they feel like you know what to do here. They know that you know from your past experiences how to make wise decisions in your romantic love life, okay? Because you've accumulated a lot of experience. All right, so let's keep going. Middle of the month here, Gemini. Oh my God. Page of Cups energy, Strength card energy, and we got the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. You're going to get some good news here. 
it's going to be a message of love this person finally steps forward here and you are going to have an awareness that there is love here with this king of cups energy yeah it's like almost like this uh for me when i see this particular king of cups it's like this person's like holding like a championship cup that's what i feel like here with this if you look here gemini look at that this person looks like they're like, hey, what's up, Gemini? Yeah, there's definitely love here. And there's wisdom around this. That explains why the Spirit's like, you finally have learned your lessons. And you know what? There is this wise choice coming in for you. And there's that King of Cups energy is coming out, Gemini. We see that there's new love here. And I feel even from this, this uh, Page of Cups energy, it's almost like this person is wielding power. That's what I feel like. It's like this person's going like this with the cup. Like they know how to balance that cup right. So I feel like you guys know that you're in your power zone when it comes to love here. You got love coming in here and good news. We see that it's coming through people. So the garden card could talk about you are having an awareness of this good news, this message of love while you're out with other people here. Garden can represent family or friends or through socializing garden card energy. And then we see that the strength and courage is because of the sense of some kind of confusion about people, okay? And then this conversation takes place here. This conversation takes place and it's like, wow, there is love here. So you start off being a bit confused about this person coming forward, but then you have an awareness after this conversation, like, whoa, this is, this is love. There's really love here with the King of Cups energy. And we see here, the strength and courage is here there's timing that's working in your favor. There's new perspective, new ideas. Or maybe for some of you feeling like there could be a sense of naivete when it comes to change and movement. There's something that's really making you happy here. And the reason why is because there is this message of love, this new path in love, because of this conversation about love, King of Cups energy. So yes, it's coming in, Gemini. And oh my goodness, okay. And Spirit's like, Let's, Gemini, it's time for you. You've learned the lessons and now we're bringing forth this great connection for you. All right, let's keep going. Look at that. Ten of Swords, end of the month. It's like, finally, you're like, I'm over this. You know, whatever I was going through, I'm over this. And Knight of Pentacles is like, now this is moving into a serious direction. And we see King of Wands energy. Wow. We have Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. So there's a there's a sense of all right. I'm overcoming this hurt, this pain, and now let's let's take let's take it slow here into a long term commitment with the Knight of Pentacles energy, and then it's like the sense of chemistry and passion. Yeah, we see a person card coming out, another person card, and when the Lenormand when they got two people facing each other, that is a very good sign. That is a very good sign. That can represent a, a couple in uh, a good connection. Uh, so so two people are coming together in a good connection yeah and there's doll card loyalty oh my goodness so that's really good for lenormand setup cards wise two people facing each other two two picture cards facing each other and then the the dog after that saying there's loyalty there gemini this is this is going to be a great month for you incredible incredible for your romantic love life let's pull one more card for you gemini mm -hmm. oh my god gemini there is a commitment here. Look at that. There's a commitment here. Spirit is like, you know what to do here, Gemini. Uh, this, when it comes to this, a commitment. That, that doll card represents commitment. That represents loyalty, okay? Loyalty. Movement change, a conversation about loyalty. Healing, which causes some kind of confusion or still some things healing, which causes some kind of confusion when it comes to the person. Emotions and looking at choices and options or people that's part of the influence when it comes to this person. Going further, things are moving in your favor. You're overcoming this hurt and pain because there's chemistry and passion. There's new perspectives. You're really happy about this good news. And now you're taking it slow into a long-term commitment and there's this, a sense of there's a wise decision when it comes to love and romance. Uh-huh, yeah. The courage and strength. So obviously the confusion was this lack of courage and strength in the middle of the month, but then we see here, it's coming together. It's coming together, Gemini. Okay, I'm so excited for you guys. Okay, all right, Gemini. So let's move into your career and finance now, okay? All right, so nine cards. So let's start off here at the beginning of the month here. Oh my goodness. It, this incredible reading is just going further into your uh, career in finance. We see that you guys are planning some stuff here and you get clarity. That's what I feel like. You're going to get clarity and it's going to fulfill your desires. You're going to be able to build that foundation or you're going to have to work together with others here with the Three of Pentacles energy. But so, something is coming together for you guys here. 
going further on this. So something ends, stops, or completes because an opportunity comes in which fulfills your desires here, Gemini. You're going to have to take on more responsibility there with that uh, cross card energy. Uh, this opportunity creates oppor uh, burdens for you. And you're going to have to work together and come up with a creative solution because it's finally building this foundation. You're moving towards that foundation there with that Three of Pentacles energy. There's a creative solution. There's a working together here. Okay, so... Also, I just got this new deck here from Barnes & Noble, so let's let's play around with this deck as well, Gemini. Let's see what comes out here, because I am a collector of decks, and I just like to see how this deck is going to help you. All right, so this is called the Super Attractor deck, by the way, Gemini. All right, so um, can I have advice for Gemini's career in finance, please, or their health, their wealth, excuse me? Show my cards ADC, show my cards ADC. All right. So let's see what the card is. This is the card here. The card says, I am kind and loving towards others while creating clear boundaries that protect my good feelings and emotions. Okay, when it comes to your career in finance, obviously you're gonna have to work together with others. Spirit is saying that you have to be careful and make sure that you put right boundaries in place because you don't want someone to overstep their boundaries when it comes to you, okay? Uh, because it looks like that's what's going to happen this month, okay? So it's okay to, to, to say yes, but also remember, your free will trumps someone else's free will. So if you feel like that's violating your free will and it's not something that you want to do, then feel free to say no. Okay, then going further here, Gemini. This is the card here. It says... When I cultivate a spiritual connection, I trust the universe no matter what. So they're saying, trust the universe. It's going to come together. All right. There may be times in this situation where you may feel like, all right, oh God, what's going on here? I'm just not going to get it going. Like, it's okay. Let go of that feeling and know that things are going to work out because the universe always works in your favor, Gemini. Okay. So middle of the month, Empress. Four of Pentacles energy. And we got the Page of Pentacles energy. Very good energy, Gemini. Very good energy. Empress is talking about there's some things that are happening here, things that are coming together here. She is the creative energy, okay? So remember, she's like, uh, she's when, when you want to start a family. So when you have that pregnancy belly and you got, all right, it's, it's, it's that potential there. She's got that potential uh, creative energy here. So there's some things that are being created here in your stability because there's this huge... Uh, new path here and you're going to receive some news about this with the page of pentacles energy yep gaining knowledge about this recognition of the stability house card energy all right let's keep going here and then we see at the end of the month the ten of wands energy the devil card energy and the four of cups energy i feel like that's where that that advice is coming into play it's like Oh my God, I'm dealing with all this burden, all this responsibility. Things are weighing heavy on me. And there is a sense of procrastination and not wanting to accept these things that you have to deal with here with the Four of Cups energy. But coming back to your advice, right? It was saying that just know that the universe is going to work out in your favor. Yes, it may overwhelm you at that time, but you know that everything is going to be okay. All right, so bear card energy. You're going to have to take control of things when it comes to this commitment here. Uh, but it's very hopeful there. Star card energy. It's very hopeful. So at the central theme here, when it comes to your career in finance, you're going to get recognition and you're going to be able to hold on to your situation for pentacles energy. There's a lot of th planning, thinking, contemplating about ending something, stopping something, completing something when it comes to your burdens and responsibility of uh, work or a boss or a manager. And we see that there's a lot of opportunities being presented to you which are very hopeful, but it's like the sense of this burden, this responsibility, having to work together with others in this team environment or this creative solution. You're going to fulfill your desires when it comes to this particular opportunity. And there is some things that are going to happen with this that are, that are in the abundance arena. You're going to gain knowledge. But there is going to be a little bit of a procrastination on this commitment uh, when it comes to this new potential path here in stability and stableness. So be careful of that and just let go of that. And also, don't be afraid to put down your boundaries, okay? So if you feel like something isn't, you know, something isn't going the way you want it to go and you feel like it's kind of violating your free will, feel free to say no, okay? So let's now move into your health and wellness here, Gemini. And interesting enough, these are the cards that want to come out. It's saying stay positive and in fo focus on increasing your energy here. So also I want to shuffle here. 
Gemini's Health and Wellness. Can I have some advice for Gemini's Health and Wellness for September? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Yeah, I feel you on that one, Gemini. Stretching, exercise, and there we go again with that same message to have faith that things are going to work out and listen to your body because your body knows best. Your body does know best. If you go out drinking, the next day you're going to have a hangover, right? Your body tells you. It's like, whoa, okay, this doesn't feel good, right? Or if you eat something, maybe you eat too much of something, uh, and then your body will tell you. It's like, yeah, my stomach hurts, and man, I feel tired from eating too much. So listen to your body. Your body knows best. All right, my beautiful Geminis, I love you guys so much. If you guys liked it, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Um, for the next reading, I asked you guys what was the reading you wanted next. You said you wanted the super secretive uh, mystery reading. So <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what it is. You will find out in another day or two. And then after that, we're going to look at your love interest, true feelings toward you. We're going to really examine their emotions completely to see a full reading on that. And for the free reading contest, all you have to do is put Twin Flame in the comments below. I'll be picking two people for a free personal reading. I love you guys so much. Have a great rest of your month, and I will see you guys soon.